everyone, welcome to the 802 Live show for January 31st, 2022. I'm your host, Brian, and today for you guys, I have Mrs. Clark in the studio with me. But before we get into that, here is Hope with some announcements. Hey everyone, Varsity Basketball have home games today, Thursday and Friday. Varsity Soccer has an away game, and, and Junior High Soccer has a home game, both on Thursday. Beach Volleyball open workouts will be happening Tuesday and Thursday from 3.30 to 5.30. Picture packets can still be turned into the 4A by 3.30 today. The junior high winter formal is February 11th from 5 to 7 with grade checks available in the 4A on February 1st and the 8th. The last Dis Disney payment is due tomorrow at 3 p.m. The, the girls varsity basketball team did their best to overcome mental and physical fatigue. Playing three games in three days took a small toll, but having the motivation and support from coaches and teammates helped them find the strength to battle three very good teams. This was a turning point for the program and confirmation that the end of the season is extremely bright for North Point basketball. Shout out to the boys basketball team for also playing in three hard games this weekend. Player of the game on Thursday and Friday was Stuart Burkhart. On Thursday, Jonathan Lindsay led the team with 16 rebounds and defensive force, blocking seven shots. On Saturday, Joel had an amazing game with 13 points and seven rebounds. And the play of the game was by Jonathan Lindsay with a dunk that posturized Sedona, Sedona's defender leaving North Point with a great game. And junior high soccer won against Maryville Prep seven to one. Everyone had played an outstanding game. Back to Brian. Thank you, Hope. So like I was saying, I have Mrs. Clark in the studio with me. So Mrs. Clark, for the entire month of February, we're actually having something very special called uh, Gratitude Gram. So what are the Gratitude Grams exactly? Well, Gratitude Grams are a way for you to show that you're grateful for anyone across campus. Um, you can buy them for your friends, you can buy them for your loved ones, you could buy them for people you don't know. You could even buy them for teachers. And teachers, you can buy them too. Um, so basically, like I said, it's a way to show your gratitude across campus. Um, it could be for someone who helped you pick up your backpack. It could be for someone who you know, it was a shoulder to cry on for someone who gave you a compliment. It's your way to say thank you for things that they've done for you. Well, this sounds like a lot of fun. And when and how could someone buy one of these gratitude grams? Well, all you have to do is come down to the 4A starting tomorrow, um, and they'll be for sale then. Well, I'll definitely be there buying a few of these for my friends and family. And, you know, how much are they going to cost exactly? Um, gratitude grams are a dollar a piece and with that you get a piece of paper that you fill out where you say what you're grateful for um, and then as long as you can bring me the person's name and last initial I can usually figure it out um, and then you know I can figure out their elective teacher and then we send them out on Fridays um, to their elective teachers with a little piece of candy to give someone something sweet for be for doing something sweet. Well, this sounds very sweet, Mrs. <laughs> Clark. Well, thank you, Mrs. Clark, for being here. And guys, make sure you're going out there and buying your gratitude grams. And that's all we have for you. So make sure you're checking the slides and our social media. Why? Because we're always on there, online and on you. <laughs>